While diving in a coral reef, something bothered Autumn Blum as divers got back on the boat. And I'm watching all of these divers showering, rinsing off. I'm watching the suds just right overboard. The chemist in me knew what the ingredients were in these products, and it was a little bit troubling. She set out to make a line of natural body products, good for the body and the environment. However, her first natural shampoo trial killed every fish in the tank. I cried. <laughs> it was awful. As an Eckerd College alum, she partnered with them for research that was more targeted than standard tests. In fact, such a new concept, there were no guidelines. We came up and said, well, what if you were someone with long hair and you used a lot of shampoo and the fish decided to jump into your tub with you? I mean, that would be like the maximum concentration. The researchers looked at how the swimming and eating behavior of the fish changed, not just if they lived or died. But you can notice from the competitor sunscreen that the fish really aren't moving very rapidly, whereas over here, normally they've got that sort of darting behavior. An ingredient in most sunscreens has been proven to bleach coral reefs. Four to six thousand metric tons of sunscreen is ending up in our coral reefs. These researchers took coral testing beyond adult corals by looking at how products affect coral in the larval stage. Blum incorporated all the findings for products she believes are safe from stream to sea.